So, Chap, why don't you show us what you're working on there? What do you guys work on? So, going around the so horn. like you guys, itching. we're talking about antennas, but I'm building antennas. I oh, just oh, built. Gee, damn. I just, I just basically built this. Um, that's perfect. And I have space. I just checked my spacing on this, and I'm with a, th a third. That one looks a little crooked, though, person. Son. Which one? I'm crooked. All of yeah, them. I'm saying <laughs> all of them. It's, it's you. Look, you I sure that, that one's is, not crooked? Look, look at this. I think that look one this. of your directors is a little short. Look at that this thing. Is this one. Yeah. Than a used car this salesman one, in a well, Paisley suit. This one son. gets a little bit of put down force because of the screws where I'm going to hook the that. excuses. But other than that, they're pretty straight. Pretty, this pretty one, this straight. This one is a little crooked right here. Do I have the wheel of excuses slide? I'll tell you what. i tell you what. The one I have on my, my tower back there, I got one that's like, <laughs> if you're looking at it like this, the first one is down here. Oops, sorry. It's like that, you know? Look how crooked and that it is. It still kicks butt. Here we go. <laughs> yep. You get the wrong picture on it, but... <laughs> this this one is a little crooked right here. Up and Damn, down. Jim, that was like 100 pounds ago, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. 60. That was the old complete excuses so unlike, handbook. Unlike you guys just talking about it, I'm doing it. 60 pounds ago. Somewhere I, I have the wheel of excuses, not the excuses handbook, but I can't find it. So this is... Right now, this is a... Uh, this is supposed to be six elements. I missed one. Some, oh, there's another one here. So I need two more. One here and one here. So the more elements you have, I'm going to put it down for a second. So your 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 Yagi pattern is like this, right? See, we're at uh, at 90 degrees. The more you put, your Yagi starts doing this stuff. The more elements, tight direction. You it gets tighter, it but your but your DB your gain gets more. And then there's forward gain. Yes, yeah, forward gain. Forward gain. This is the front of this antenna. This is the driven right here. This this one right here. Well, what you mean driven? And then there's going to be a, a driven is where the coax is going to hook up right here to these little screws. The center conductor, right? This is something I did different on this one. And then the, the back here, there's going to be a reflector at this hole right here. And then this is the first driver right here. It's really close. Right here, a, a director, and right? these are these are all directors, yeah, directors. So driver, me. reflector, and director. Yes. So the more of these you have, the more, like if I want to talk to me, I have to get it more like this, right? More pointed at me. But then there's also the curvature of the Earth that well. some people believe in. And so for me, You're talking about terrain like mountains, for where I live. Northeast <laughs> is really good for the basically with three elements, pretty much the whole. Well, from from Texas on is pretty much the whole United States for me. So, and then you have something called now that we're we're directing everything this direction. There's a front to back, so it's re, it's rejecting on the sides, right? And it's rejecting from the back, depending on how your antenna is set up. Like if you space them evenly, that's kind of in the middle. That's if all your elements are like, say, three feet apart, that's kind of equal gain and equal um, front to back. Then you can do a bunch of a bunch of calculating on a computer, which I'm not very good at. But um, and, and space these in different places like this one. They're all spaced at a different place. And that's what this first one is right here. <laughs> so this this little antenna at six elements is like eleven point three dBi and about nine dBd. <clears throat> but you're now saying in some... addition to that gain, the 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 noise from front to back from your 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 rejection on the backside makes a, a significant difference in not just gain it's, but signal to noise ratio, right? It's way well signal to noise. Yeah, it's way quieter than like a yag a yagi or vertical, except for when you sit, except for when you point it at noise. And that's something you can do. You know, you can take this thing. And I can tell. I have certain directions. I think due north for me is noisy sometimes. And you're so trying like to 20. do some finding. Hold that up uh, again and talk a little bit about polarization because that some was some Oregon people. Was. Okay, so polarization. This is going to be a vertical antenna, so it's going to be like this. Okay. Horizontal is this way. And I've seen people, you know, go out and try to make contacts, and they've got it. They're holding it. Well, if if you're doing two meter and you're holding your your elk antenna, if you're doing two meter sideband, it needs to be like this, right? If you're doing FM, it needs to be like this. And then actually the, the ground side needs to be down technically also. Okay. But definitely a lot quieter antennas. And you'll still yep. hear noise, but it's when you look at the noise on your meter, 
Uh, mine hardly has anything on. on now there's some math 10, 15 involved in how you set those elements, correct? <laughs> yeah, I mean you and can the space size them of anyway. The and this one supposedly was set up for yeah the size. They're usually what five percent less, some somewhere in that area. Each, each there's one calculators. Back is there's calculators on the internet that you can do. They'll tell you where to space it. And those are usually like I use the uh, what was it the maple leaf calculator and that one basically says they're, they're they're basically evenly spaced and that gives you a little bit of both a little bit of gain a little bit of front to back from there if you guys if you're good with uh what is the inzec enz encz easy or whatever neck, it is yeah. easy, easy neck, neck. Yeah. if you're good with that kind of stuff you can dial that thing in if you want all gain like for me i don't have a i don't have a lot of stuff behind me right now except for you know hawaii and, and you know, asia well, they're not coming in here every day, so I might. So go you want to pull it away from that? So I might go all gain on my. If I was designing an antenna, I might go more gain than front to back, less front to back, more gain. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. And that's and that's all on spacing and stuff and size. See, where that would come that in stuff. super <clears throat> cool is something like if you're trying to scan, you're using it for that's for. Uh, Mesh this is mesh tastic, right? which I don't think it's great for that, but I'm trying to get into Sacramento from here. Well, <clears throat> I was gonna, so like here in Montgomery, we have the county P25 system is multi-site. So with something like that, I could tune that thing front to back and just hit one specific tower instead of getting bombarded by multiple sites and confusing the scanner. <clears throat> now, I wish I'd known this before I put my two meter up there. At Yagi. I've got a seven element two meter. I was talking to the owner of M squared antennas who knows his stuff. And he says, if you take it and set that at a 45, you lose a little bit each way, but you can, but now you can do sideband and FM and not lose too much either way. That's fancy. Like or, a sloper. Or, or, or what I was going to do on mine was going to put one of those Rams where I could turn it like this and then I could turn it up by, with a switch. Right. Jack, I got a really it? good antenna for sideband, but it's not very good for when you turn it. There were talk. Somebody was talking about polarization the other day. Two meter polarization makes a huge difference, and so does six. Um, what are those bolts on the side of that antenna? It's a two piece. My, my printer world. You see, you see the in the middle. But the, there, but right? the, are, are those bolts non fares? Those are going to no, affect they, that whole. Go thing. get some nylon, man. Every every son, you see has bolts. Son, you might as well put it on a carbon fiber mask. No, no, oh no. my God, no. he went well, this there may, again. This black <laughs> might have some carbon in. Who knows? No, um, all <laughs> antennas, all Yaggies have some kind of bolts in somewhere. Now this one's I put really some electric small, tape on there, so I, I may I change would... the hose. But uh, Chuck, is that antenna I, your design? That no, brain? it's not. Um, I got that for Mastastic DIY antennas. I forget okay. the guy's name. He he did a bunch of testing. He gives you, let me click on it here. He gives you uh, 